This is the third video in the series where we've got a Derby database created and now we want to run um, a program that uses the database. I'm going to deviate from the tutorial a little bit here and use the books uh, database that we created in the previous step. In Eclipse, I'm going to add the .java files from the example to the SRC folder. I'm going to create a lib folder to hold the database and hold uh, the derby jar. So I'm going to grab the books database from when it was created in step two. I'm going to copy those files in. I'm going to switch to the lib folder and drag derby.jar into the lib folder of my project. Now I can see I've got this display authors.java file, which is going to connect to the database. If I try to run it right now, it says no suitable driver. So that's the next thing I have to do. I go to Window Preferences Data Management. If you don't have data management in your Eclipse, you've got to install it with help, install new software. Hit the drop down, do all available sites, and eventually database development will come up. Uh, the important one to get for this is the platform enablement for Apache Derby. Uh, that might be the only one you need. I've also installed the, these other two, so I might want to grab those just to be safe or just get one, and if it doesn't work, grab the other two. Um, then you should have data management, connectivity, driver definitions. Click on Add. Choose Derby Client uh, Embedded, J Derby Embedded JDBC uh, Driver, the most recent version highest number there. You want to uh, edit that jar to point to the one that we just added to the lib folder. And then in properties we are going to set the database name to books and the password and ID were from the .java file. It said uh, Dital and Dital, the author of the book. We also saw that when we were uh, creating the database in step two. Okay, we're going to apply and close that. And one more step before this will run. We've got to go to the properties tab of the project itself. And we've got to set the Java build path. Okay, so we're going to go to Java build path and then libraries. Add jars and again select the derby.jar that we added to the lib folder of our project. Apply and close. And again, depending on how your path and your environment of variables are set up, this might work now. Um, but if it doesn't, you can put in the full path to the actual database. Uh, that is can also be found through the properties of your of your project, but uh, somewhere in there you can you can find the, the file location of it. Uh, but I know mine is in my Eclipse uh, projects folder. So after Derby colon, I'm going to put my workspace folder. And notice how it added an extra backslash there. Uh, it's just so the Java doesn't tr actually treat it like an escape sequence. And once you do that, the program should run and access the database. Uh, there's another main in this other .java file with a graphical user interface. That should run as well, and you can see the SQL that it's running, and you can type in names to run, and it filters the results. That's when all goes well.